Hello, my name is Jeremy Bentham. I'm Vice President Business Environment and Head of the Scenarios team. Shell's a business, we're intimately interconnected with the external environment and we deliver assets that have a long lifetime. So we're continually considering the external environment, how it may look in the years ahead. And we have a 40 year history of using scenarios to help us grapple with those issues. We're entering what I believe is an era of volatile transitions and intensified economic cycles. The recession of the last few years has interrupted what has been a boom in commodity uh, increase. Clearly, the emerging economies, the population giants, the Chinas and the Indias and others, have entered the most materially intensive phase of economic development, raising living standards for millions, which is a good thing. But of course, that brings other tensions as well, as supply and the environment struggle to adapt. We've entered a huge zone of uncertainty. Underlying demand could bring us by 2050 to three times the energy use as it was in the year 2000. And yet ordinary rates of supply development would only take us part way towards bridging that, leaving a zone of uncertainty, which will be bridged by some combination of extraordinary production acceleration and extraordinary demand moderation. On the demand side, you could find that being bridged through smart policies and technology, but also through knee-jerk policies and price shocks and frustrated economic aspirations. On the supply side, there will be important contributions from existing fuels, oil and gas and coal, but also biofuels and the great breakthrough in uh, developing gas out of uh, shale gas and tight gas and cold bed methane. But there are no silver bullets. This has come at a time of profound, slow-moving geopolitical shift from the West to the East. And this has been accelerated by the recession in the West. People may look back at 2008 as a turning point in geopolitical arrangements, but the financial conditions and the ripples from the period that we've just had bring local economic and local political stresses as well. Environmental stresses are still building up. And when we introduced three years ago the blueprint scenario, that was a view of how quickly we could see developments in policy and technology addressing those kinds of stresses. And I have to say that as we look now, while some things have moved in the right direction, the pace is not faster than blueprints, as most people in the scientific community would like to see, but is actually, actually slower than blueprints. So we bring forward now a picture of volatile transitions with both opportunities and threats within it. The choices society makes and the choices we as a business make in the next five years have profound consequences over the next decades. We bring forward signals and signposts as a contribution to the debate and framing those choices and framing that thinking. We believe that we can power progress together, but it's only by taking a realistic view of the situation that we can make a start. Thank you very much.